The Truck Who Cried Fire. At Green Meadows, all the firehouse students have to pass a special test in the forest. It's called the Fire Watch. Red, you did a bang-up job the first night of Fire Watch, although it was hard getting you to come home. That's because I love the great outdoors, Chief. Krabby, you did well the second night. Complained a little, though. That's because I love the great indoors. It's your turn tonight, Petrol. Uh, oh dear. Don't worry, it's fun. If you can stay awake. Remember, Petrol, if you see trouble, radio the firehouse and we'll be here before you know it. But only if you see trouble. Uh, I'll do my best, Chief. You'll do great. Uh, yeah, great. Do you ever get scared when you're alone? Sometimes Petrol does, especially at night. It's okay. Nothing to be afraid of. Like the Chief said, if I see something, I'll just call in. <gasps> Gracious me! What was that? A crackle! It could be a fire! I should call in! Petrol to the firehouse! Come in! Petrol to the firehouse! Come in! This is Red. What's wrong? Uh, I think there's a fire up here! What do you see? I, I don't really see anything, but, but I can hear it, and it's very close! You want us to come up? Would you, Red? That would be great! <clears throat> <laughs> Petrol needs us! Uh, Petrol sure gets scared a lot. Come on, Krabby. Everyone gets scared sometimes. Not me. Is that a spider on your bumper? Ah, a spider flare! See? Everyone's scared of something. So, where's the fire? Uh, I'm not sure. I heard it. I really did. <gasps> there it is again. I found it. Mice eating crackers. We came all the way up here for that? Well, it sounded like a fire. That's okay, Petrol. The good news is, it wasn't. The good news is, we can go back to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I promise, I won't bother you again, unless I see a fire. It didn't take long for Petrol to see what he thought was a fire. <gasps> Gracious! Petrol to Firehouse! Come in, Firehouse! It's a big one, isn't it, Red? Petrol, it's just a full moon. You got me up for the moon? Even if the moon was on fire, no hose is gonna reach it. I'm sorry, fellas. That's okay, Petrol. Just stay alert. Gracious! Can you see? There's a whole lot of fires! A whole lot of fire flies. Well, he's getting closer. Petrol, next time, could you be sure it's a real fire before you call us? We need to sleep. I... Unfortunately, the boys had no way of knowing what was happening just a short distance away. Sparks from a lumber truck were about to cause a real fire. Poor Petrol. At this point, the last thing he wanted to see was anything that even looked like a fire. <sighs> oh, be sure, Petrol. Maybe it's not a fire. Maybe it's a, a barbecue or a birthday cake. A really, really big birthday cake. 
Moments later, Petrol called the station. Are you absolutely, positively sure? Well, it looks like a fire, and it smells like a fire, and it's getting a wee bit warm up here. Okay, we're coming. I'm not going all the way up there for another false alarm. But he's our friend. We should believe him. <gasps> and he may be right this time. Go get the chief. The sirens say help's on the way. Within minutes, the trucks return to the forest to do their job. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Petrol. That's okay, Krabby. I guess I was a wee bit nervous. I'm proud of you, Petrol. You spotted the fire and made it through a whole night of fire watch. I did? Take a look. It was true. The sun was coming up. Hey! Hey, fellas! Did you hear that? I did it! I stayed out all night! I passed the test! Now, what's got into those two? I know you can't hear me, fellas, but thanks. Thanks a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs>